Welcome to Paysetter FC The Journey. You can take me up. And in this episode, it is the last day before the first game of the season. I've brought all of the lads into our new home, Harpole FC. We are now going to look over pre season analysis, an opposition review, and the way I want them to be playing in our first game against Bastard FC. So, today, basically, what we're doing is getting ready for our first game in the MJPO. So, Today we're going to cover pre-season, how we're done in pre-season, different statistics, the opposition review of how they play. Because I watched them play in a friendly, different tactics. It is serious. Today is serious, yeah? Because if you don't understand any of the instructions and you don't listen and you mess around, there's no point you playing tomorrow, yeah? Today is serious, yeah? This is what you would do if you get professional or get scouted or get an academy. This is what they do free, about twice a week. So what we're going to do, we're going to do these like once, like once a month. Just like review how the month has gone and just different targets, what we're going to set out. So first like basically pros of pre-season. I feel like we've focused on the style really well. We've incorporated it well in our games. It showed that we've getting five wins out of 10. Yes, that might be poor 50% wins in our games. But again, you're a brand new team and you've played against some tough teams in my opinion. And your wins, you've won against, you've won quite highly, but our losses, they've been quite narrow apart from one. With prep for the season was the main focus. We worked fantastically hard and it showed with the numbers we had at every session. We learned the style superbly and worked hard to understand the role and responsibilities of your role in, in the style. The main thing for me is that we scored 33 goals in 10, which is a massive positive for our attacking play, which shows we can score goals in different areas, 11 different scorers here. So it wasn't just one person scoring 20 of them and one or two scoring the rest. 11 different scorers in the whole team. So it shows we, we can create chances in different ways. Improvements for the season. So it's a ne it's not, I'm not calling it negatives, improvements. We conceded 21 goals in 10 games which in most of the games, like I said, we conceded just two or less. But against Bilney and Dragons, we let in more. But the negative on that is we conceded nine goals from outside the box. Nine of our goals we conceded was from outside the box. It's from people not even closing down their man, not picking up their man, but not doing their job in the midfield. Or like one of the goals against Moulton weren't your fault or weren't your fault. It came off your leg because you closed him down and it flicked off you. So that wasn't bad. The highlight, the massive improvement needed to head into the season is being compact in the middle and forcing teams out wide and not letting the team have time in the middle. That's where their goals come from. In possession needs to be improved. Two main issues in possession. Watching the video back, we lost the ball in the middle more than anywhere else, which led to five goals from losing it. Also, we had a total of 137 shots. We had 137 shots. I counted every single shot. We scored only 28 of them, which is very disappointing. Take time, low crosses, don't take on your own. Moving on to Basford. They play a 4-3-3 high press. They play a passing football game. They are most dangerous through the middle, but can't deal with a team being compact and tight. They will result in long ball, which we can deal with with our centre-backs dropping off. Massively important, we shuffle and again, keeping it tight in the middle. No gaps. When I watched them in pre-season, they punished the gaps when teams were not compact and they let them have time. Their keeper is very good on the ball. Don't press him because he will take you out of the game. When they press their keeper, that's when they connected to the passes and they left gaps. Be patient on the ball. Gaps will open if you pass the ball around and be patient with it. Side to side, backwards if need be, recycle. Look for your furthest pass. What I mean by that is play it along the floor to the striker. Don't hit long. They deal with that very well. They will get frustrated if you keep possession. What they did was the team they played against didn't keep possession and they had a lot of the ball and they loved it. But when they kept it for about 10 minutes, they started conceding fouls. That's another trigger for the wingers to run through is when they gave gaps. A few stats from the opposition. Last season, their first game of the season was their first game in the MJPL. They won 6-2 away against Telford. This was one of the three games they won away. They only won three games away last season out of every 22 games. Their away form is dreadful. They played 13, they won three, drew four, lost six. The three top scorers were their attackers who were very composed in front of goal, but around them, only a couple of people got more than one. So like we have, we've had 11 different scorers. All their attackers scored half of their goals and the rest of them got one or two. And a total of 29 of them goals were conceded away from home. So again, get in their heads, let them run and make the mistakes for open. Don't you run on the ball. Like a lot of the players, yeah, I don't mind you dribbling with it, 
But a quote I read is from Guardiola, yeah? Is what I, I respect him highly. He said, if you are tired while having possession of the ball, the opposition will win it back easily. The objective is to keep it, let them get tired, and the gaps will start opening and mistakes and they will start making mistakes and wait for openings, yeah? As you can see, the opposition like to make narrow runs. The centre player likes to make passes through the gaps onto the wingers, but different to us, they like their fullbacks high and wide. So that's when openings will start coming when we can attack through them gaps and them gaps with the counter-attack. I've also prepared a couple of videos of how I want the boys to look like in the attacking final third. I've taken an example of Guardiola's style of play and I'm demonstrating to the boys of what we've been working on in training and of how I want it to look like in a gameplay situation. Higher, that's when, look, the defenders now push up higher. Once again, it pushes up higher. That's the gap for you to run in. Here is my starting 11 for our first game against Basford FC. Players who are usually in the starting 11 are on the bench today. I've adapted today's team to the way Basford FC play. I've picked the team based on performances in pre-season, the attitude of some players. If you're on the bench, you've got an opportunity to come on and make an impact when you're on the pitch. If you're on the bench, it doesn't mean that you've played poor. It just means that it's a decision I've made. That's it. So that's the team. You've got a pack of the instructions, everything, all the slides. I want you to give it a quick read over. The expectations are on you. If you don't perform in the first game, it's going to be quite embarrassing. It's up to you, down to you, right? This is where all of your hard work, this is where all of your time and your effort has come down to. The only thing what matters now is today's game. If you're not on it for today's game, if you don't put what we worked on to the, in today's game, if you don't work hard in today's game, and you don't apply what we've been speaking about for four or five months, then everything, all your hard work has gone out the window. You know the team, hard work and work rate doesn't matter if you don't get the win. Because every single game now is a must win game. If you lose, but you play your best, good but you didn't get the win from it. We focus on wins and we focus on how we play but getting the wins out of it. We need to put every single little bit of hard work and that effort into getting a win today. Unfortunately we are unable to show today's game Sadly, our first game in the MJPL is a 3-1 defeat. Not the start the boys would have hoped for, but there are plenty of positives to take away. On the same wave if we don't That's agree it until it. next nah. time. Don't man, forget to like, man, share man, and subscribe. You can take me out of the streets, but you can't take the streets out of me. Can't leave out the family anywhere I go, I bring my team. We only feel God, we don't feel no man. That's my bros and